Hey, what's going on everyone? How you doing? So I had to make this video because Kid Rock is back and I saw like a 10 second clip of the music video and I was just laughing my ass off. You know, I know Kid Rock has a massive fan base. I actually went on to a Spotify to see what his numbers are. 4 million views or listens per month. That's pretty massive. What made me want to react to this thing is just some of the stuff that I saw in it. It, it reminded me of Tom McDonald, you know, where he's just this white rapper that that just trashes, you know, woke culture or whatever. You know, people showed me this stuff back in the day, like a few years back when my channel, my main channel was really active. And to be honest, I just never liked it. I was like, that's. It's just cringy as hell. And apparently a lot of people are excited. They're saying Kid Rock is back. And to me, I'm like, well, ugh, not a good thing to me, but let's check this out together. Let's let's see if we can get anything positive out of this. <laughs> So he's watching the news. You see somebody putting on a mask. Uh, so you kind of already know where this is heading. So let's go. Fuck all you hoes. Well, this <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Detroit till I die, motherfucker. Okay, he really he means that he means it. I like how like southern he is, but he's like repping Detroit. <laughs> it's I love it. Talking all that bullshit. Wait, what were people saying? Most likely to not give a fuck. Man, that's really cool. I think didn't MGK have a candle of a middle finger? What what is that? Like it's that shit's not cool, man. It's it's like high cringe. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to leave. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. That shit sounds like fucking South Park, man. That sounds like when, when, when like Matt or Trey put on that, that, where, what would you do? It just, <laughs> damn, dude. I mean, yeah, it sounds just like old school Kid Rock. It, it sounds, I guess this is what all of his fans have been waiting for. They missed the edgy Kid Rock because, you know, he really just started doing a lot of country and shit, and uh, which I think was his most popular stuff, really. Um, But yeah, they, they missed the bad boy thing in this. Like, I don't have any problem with country vibe stuff. I really don't. But like, I just, this hybrid shit, like, it'll, it doesn't work very often, man. I don't even I don't believe that at all. You're you're a very thin person. Now I know some thin people can hit pretty hard, but I don't believe that for a second. Yeah, um that's cool. He's just talking shit, though, like, it's not, like, okay, he, it, so basically the song is like, so far, he's just saying, I'm still the motherfucker that doesn't give a fuck, I know I look like I'm melting, but I don't give a fuck either. 
Yo, 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 did you see that? Did you catch that? Look at this. So what the fuck's up with all the backlash? Look at, look at, look at that picture in the background. Like, you see, you see, it's like the, it's the typical feminist SJW, like the, the, the 2016 era. I don't understand. It's like, it's, I, I, I gotta full screen myself. There's moments in time, right, where things like, oh, this was cringy. Let's make fun of it. And then it kind of passes, and then you just stop. It happens with music. It happens with whatever. There was a little thing going on at the time. You know, it's almost spur of the moment. Then once it dies, it's gone. It's like one of my favorite things was Ugandan Knuckles. I love that meme. I love that period. And then it goes away. The, you know, those rimmed, corn rimmed glasses, SJW type of feminists and stuff like that. That shit was funny in 2016 and stuff, and then that shit died down about a year or so later. And then when you see people like Kid Rock or Tom McDonald bring the stuff back up, it's like, okay, man, uh, yeah, I remember that. Like, that was cringe. The fuck you bringing it up for now? Here's a new flash. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. <laughs> I guess this is Monster Truck. I, I don't know who Monster Truck is. Um, sound, <laughs> I don't know, man, I, I'm, this is more cringy to me than the, like, SJWs, you know, th these fucking, these radical people that were screaming at the top of their lungs and, and, and ring, as they say, like, this to me is more cringy because those other people were just emotional and mentally ill, and then you have these people that are just like, I'm so cool, I'm like, dude, that shit ain't cool with fire all over and shit, that shit ain't cool at all, man, what the fuck is this? Dude. I never gave a shit about participation trophies. I understand why people don't like them. I get that. Um, I I like the idea of what my baseball coach did when I was uh, playing t-ball, where instead of giving participation trophies, there was uh, awards for different things, like to highlight uh, a specific kid's attributes. Now, I'm sure some of them were bullshitted and made up, but like, say, for example... I was given an award for being the fastest runner. I'm a fucking kid. All of that shit is bullshit. All of it is. It's all dumb. It doesn't mean anything. But it does boost a kid's confidence, right? If you tell them, like, dude, you're, you're really fast or hardest hitter, whatever. Like, it, it kind of gives some them to, the, like, focus on and be like, I'm worth something. Now, I get the whole thing about, yeah, don't award everybody for crap behavior or lackluster stuff but if they are doing something maybe you can highlight it you know it's not a big deal it, they're fucking kids but yo homie here's a situation a yo homie nation of pussies is our next generation hey, 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 hey look who's making a cameo the that chick that screamed when trump won the no which you know we've all what was it 2017 we were all laughing our asses off. I laughed my ass off and stuff. And then after a month, you forgot about it. Here we are in 2021, almost into 2022. And this shit ends up in a video. Look at the fucking shirt. He's... Social media sucks. Like, this shit is so fucking awful. Like, this is what... This, this is what like a fifty-five-year-old like, you know, you know the dude that just he thinks he's cool. He wears all these novelty T-shirts that are all gay as fuck. Like this shit. Like look at this. Look, look at this. Take this shot in. It's fucking awful. There's nothing cool about this. 
This is cringe to the highest degree. This is fucking 60 caliber cringe. Oh, CNN, MSNBC. Oh, he doesn't have a problem with Fox, though. No, Fox is cool. He, he likes Fox. Remember, your people were really pissed off at a giant yellow bird, you know, saying that you know, you propag propaganda, you're trying to brainwash the kids, even though they've been doing the same shit for decades, talking about vaccinations and stuff. Were you not offended by that? Like, why do, why do people think, like, they're immune from this stuff? They're like, oh, they're a bunch of snowflakes and they're offended by everything. Meanwhile, the other people are offended by everything, too. Like, bitching and complaining about every little trivial thing. Like, what the, f man, like, it, it's one of those things where people want to say, like, hypocrisy, thy name is you. But this amendment one, it rings true. And if you don't dissent, bitch, the scene number two. Oh, 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 yeah. Shoot everybody. Yeah, do it. I, I'm not serious. <laughs> don't, don't, don't take that out of context. Right, church, wrong, pew. Get a clue, a crew, your fake news and views. Can all get the bottom. Damn. My, my motherfucking shoe. I'm the last of a few. Still screaming, fuck you. No, you're, no, you're not. There's tens of millions of people just like you, dressing completely the same, saying the exact same thing, only caring about themselves. You know, like, they're like, my individual freedom is much more important than the collective. I don't care about society. I just want my stuff, and I want you to leave me alone. And it would be great if things worked out like that, if you had your own fucking island. But the thing is, you live in a society, as Joker would say. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna Woo! Did you see that? Man, he... I like that. He's not. He's not. He's not on that like South Park shit anymore. He's not on that. Oh no. He's. He's. He took it. He took it up a step. Woo, man. He. He took it up a notch right there. I mean, I'll be honest. That sounds a hell of a lot better than the other. I was like, ah, oh, come on, man. See, I, that sounds good. That's not bad. Look at this. This is like... <laughs> what is this? Ashley Emily Demon Camp. Kid Rocket Lifts Oft. What the hell is this? I think I've just seen the gayest thing I've ever seen. I... <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit, that is fucking gay, dude. Whoa. Oh, wow. Like, this seems like something I would do to be as gay as possible. To, like, be like, look at me. I'm such a retard. Check this out. I am. I, I, I don't even know. Hey, man. I, 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 that sounds, that sounds okay. Jesus Christ. You think there's any flat earthers like really upset by this? <laughs> See, this, this is bullshit. Make America Kid Rock again? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> what was America like? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this video. Oh, so he's on Mars now with the giant middle finger. Man, that's so super cool. 
Kid Rock's so cool, man. <laughs> well, I really enjoyed that for the comedy aspects. The music was okay. I've never heard of Monster Truck before. I've never heard of that band. Um, the build-up, the bridge or whatever towards the end, it was actually starting to sound kind of good, like that part. Like I said, I'm not... A, I'm not I, I don't dislike Southern Rock, you know? It was just Kid Rock being in it and his you know, being like a thousand years old and acting like he's fucking 20 or whatever. It just, I'm not a huge fan, you know? Anyway, let me know what you guys thought about this. Um, if you liked the whole thing and the attitude and you like Kid Rock in general, sorry. <laughs> I'm just not a, just not a fan. Um, you, you do you, but I, I just think, you know, it's just a little, you know, it's a little cringy to me. But y'all take care, and I'll see you in the next video.